Okay, I'm going to show you the biceps in transverse and longitudinal. You always start in the bicipital groove. On the less, less, uh, left side of the picture is the lesser tuberosity, on the right, right side the greater tuberosity. Line them up nicely. Biceps bright in the middle, make the bone bright, and you slowly go distally. Keep the tendon nicely in the middle until you reach the level of the uh, pectoralis major, which is the tendon coming from the left. And that's the musculotendinous junction. You see the muscle coming up there underneath the pectoralis. Musculotendinous junction of the biceps. You go back proximally, keep the biceps nicely in the middle until you're back in the bicipital groove. It's a good place to spin. So if you do it slowly, keep the tendon in the middle and you can slowly spin it until you see the longitudinal fibers of the biceps coming in. Make sure the distal part of your probe gets pushed in so the tendon gets nicely lined up with the surface so you get a nice, nice bright fibular pattern of the biceps. Then we go back to transverse. Now we line it up again, uh, the left lesser and greater tuberosity and go straight up, lesser tuberosity falls away, then turn your probe so the greater tuberosity also falls away, come up and over and then you're in the rotator cuff interval. So there's a parallel band of tissue with the biceps in the middle floating in that soft tissue. On the left side of the biceps is the subscapularis, on the lateral side the supraspinatus. Then we go back slowly, reverse it back to the occipital groove. And now we're going to look at the subscapularis. To do that, we ask the patient to external rotate the arm slowly. So the subscapularis comes into view with the longitudinal fibers of the tendon. You can move the probe medially and you identify the coracoid process as your landmark. And you can also see the muscular tendinous junction of the subscapularis. Then we move back laterally. And this is a good place to, to spin on to see that uh, subscapularis in transverse and we slowly do that there and then you get what's called tiger striping appearance of the subscapularis in transverse and then we come back into longitudinal and that's the subscapularis and we go back to where we started which is the cross section of the biceps in the bicipital groove and that's where we stop mm -hmm.